Fruit snacks are sticky and delicious. Projects may be messy, and colors may come off and stain skin and clothing. Talk to a parent before you begin. Abe Lincoln, Santa, Wizards, my dad. They all have beards, Christo, and I really want one. I'm Amos, and today, Christo and I are gonna teach you to make a beard entirely out of fruit snacks. Sound good, Christo? Good. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. First step, you unroll these. Okay, this is our primary material, fruit snack paper. Then once you're ready for that, stick it onto this panel that I prepared for you. Overlap it to about a quarter inch. Okay, and just smash, smash, smash it right down. Okay, there we okay. go. Okay, then we're gonna cut a stencil out of wax paper, draw a beard on a, on a piece of wax paper, fold it in half. Okay. To speed up the cutting. So, you can do any kind of beard you want. Christo looks like he's doing a nice big flowing Viking beard, because I demanded that he do that. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, that's gonna be a pretty beard. Now stick it on the panel, and then cut along the lines. So once that's done, it'll look like this. Okay. okay. Now we're gonna show you how to make a beard, a beard hanger. Okay, great, because right now, it's not a beard if it's not in your face. It's just a pile of hair. Okay. You need five pipe cleaners for this, and what you do is you take about four pipe cleaners. Okay. And wrap them together till you have a piece about this long. Okay, then you fold it in half so you can find the middle. Okay. And there you go. And you're gonna put this across there somewhere. So sort it down near the bottom, you take another okay. pipe cleaner and you're gonna twist it around. Okay, that looks great. Fits my huge mouth. Ah. Thank you, Christo. Perfect. Okay, so this is what we're gonna hang the beard off of. Now you take this, you flip the beard over. Okay. And now we're gonna attach the beard hanger to the beard. Okay. To tie these two together, you want little tabs on the edge. So you cut, make cuts all along the edge. Ah, very clever. So that you have a tab like this, you pick it up, wrap it around, and squish it down. There we go, there's one more. Okay, great. So the next step, we're gonna make the mustache to attach to the top of the beard support. Okay, first you uh, draw a mustache on a piece of paper. Okay, so we take a piece of wax paper or paper, you draw the mustache that you like. You can do any kind of thing. You can do a huge, you know, a lumberjacky mustache, like a fireman mustache. This is more like a handlebar. Yeah, That's a classic handlebar. You might ride a penny farthing bike with this mustache. Or you might wear a monocle, perhaps. But we're gonna put this on a big old Viking beard. Okay, the next step, okay. like with the beard, you put the template on your panel. Okay, so we're taking the stencil, putting it on a piece of fruit paper. And you cut it up. Once you're done, it'll look like this. Okay. But make two. You, we need one for the front and one for the ah, back. Ah, so you're gonna Glue cut it together. out. You're gonna cut out two identical mustaches. Okay, the next step, you take the back one, mm -hmm. put you it take, off. So you take your uglier mustache and you put it on the back. This is the mustache you don't want your friends to see because you made a little slip up with the scissors. Then you turn the beard round. All right, so we flip this over. Now we have our front side up. We take our pretty mustache, the one we want to show off to all our friends and get the compliments with. We're gonna put and that one on line the it up perfectly with the back one. Okay. And squish it out. Ah, that's holy what moly. it looks like. That is a nice beard. Personally, the kind of beard I want is huge and bushy. Huge and bushy. So we're gonna add, hopefully, some more mass and volume to this beard. So we're gonna take our fruit snack tape here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that to make more whiskers? Exactly. Okay. That's, oh, that's starting to look really good. Personally, I want kind of a pirate beard, you know, with some of those beads on it. We got something I can use for okay. that. Okay. There's some fruit snack beads. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Try that. That's perfect. I can just squish these on anyway. Absolutely. Great. Whatever you want. So I'm going to start squishing those on like I've got beads strung up in my huge, bushy beard. Huge and bushy. And nice. Okay. So if you keep on doing that, you'll end up with something like this. Wow. Christo. That, Have a look. That is a stylish beard, my friend. Do you want to try that on? May I? Wow, there you go. That's Beautiful. a beard. I think if I was walking down the street, you wouldn't even be able to tell that I hadn't grown this myself. So there you have it. That's how you make a beard out of fruit snacks. I'm Amos, this is Christo. Check out some other episodes where we teach you to make all sorts of stuff using only fruit snacks. Well, Christo, I'm gonna go into the woods for a while and chop me down some trees and test out this new beard. Later. See you, bye-bye.
Come now.